Hi everybody, this is Patrick from www.electroniclessons.com and www.engineeringshock.com. Uh, today I'm going to bring forth and show you two of our new products. The uh, APR 9600 kit module and the uh, voice recording IC or audio recording IC amplifier. Uh, it was specifically designed for uh, two channel, but one channel is, it works just as well. I'll show you how, not only uh, what they do, but how to work it and the fun things you can do with it. Okay, so here's the APR 9600 board. I'll tell you some of the, it's just, just uh, it's tricky if you don't know what you're doing. So here, I'll, I'll give you the, uh, the rundown. Uh, there's two wires protruding from the uh, lower left hand side. As you can see here, one short, one's long. That's fed through a 78 uh, LO5, so it's protected. You just need more than 7 to 9 volts. You can put a 9 volt connector on there if you'd like, or you can power it from a power supply like I am. Uh, the shorter wire is the ground, and the longer lot wire is the positive. So you have some flexibility there. On the upper side, you can see the uh, there's four jumpers, and it actually comes with little four little four little jumpers on it. That determines four. That uh, determines four different things. Uh, whether you're in record mode or playback mode, that's uh, that's the first jumper at the, the top. If you have the jumper on, it's it's grounded. If not, it's at five volts. So take the jumper off if you don't. If you want, uh, d depending on uh, on whether you want to be in record mode or playback mode. Uh, the second one is the M8 option. If you're in, uh, if you have eight in in eight message mode, then take that jumper off. Uh, but if you're not in that, if you're in any, any other mode other than 8 message mode, put the jumper on. That's the second from the top. Uh, the last two jumpers are your M selects, so you just select what mode you're in. 1 message mode, rewind mode, 2 message, 4 message, and 8 message mode. Uh, keep in mind, if you put the jumper on, you've grounded that. So the third from the top, the third down from the top, is M1, and the last one at the bottom here is M2. So right now, uh, I've got M1 and M2, the jumper's taken off, so it's a 5 volts. So I've got 1 and 1 on M1 and M2, which means that we've got it on 8 message mode. So uh, for the M8 option, I want the M8 option to be, to be tied, to, tied to 5 volts, so I've taken it off ground. The M8 option, sorry, so a third from the bottom. And uh, at the top one, I've, I've already recorded. If you want to record, you put the jumper on, you record your messages by holding down the button. Don't talk too loud because it's a very sensitive mic. You'll uh, clip it. So stand back and just talk normally. Don't talk into the mic. So anyway, uh, uh, the t as I said, when the top jumper is on, you're in record mode. When you take the top jumper off, you're in playback mode. So if you want to be in in uh, if you want to be in uh, eight message mo uh, mode, what you do is you take off every jumper except for the top one. You put the top jumper on to be in record mode, record your messages, take the top one off, and you're ready to go for playback mode. So anyway, it comes with a speaker. As you can see, the speaker's soldered on. The speaker's right here. What I've done is I've actually taken, I, I've modified it to show you the circuit, the, the amplifier circuit. So what I've done is I've taken, you can't read it right now, but that's SP plus, the speaker plus. So I've taken the speaker plus line and I've put it into the second part of this video. So what I've done is, how this works is what this when this audio you get this audio amplifier which is 9.99 on my eBay store. It comes with two wires, a red and a black, already soldered to it. You have the option of using that as your output. Uh, but what I actually chose to do is I chose to desolder them and put them uh, the positive into the side with the diodes. It says AC because you can put AC or DC there. I don't suggest putting AC. And I suggest and I found I uh, soldered the black, desoldered the black and put it to ground. So you can actually leave the, the, I didn't actually have to do that, you can actually leave it because it's already connected to ground. It's the ground of the output. So, but it's the ground of the entire circuit. So what I suggest is desoldering the wire, if you're going, if you want to have a nice thick gauge uh, wire for your power line, uh, desolder it and put it uh, on one, in one of the AC holes. It doesn't matter which one. So next, what you want to do is, if you want to have your speaker, this is your output. I'll show you a, a neat trick with it in a minute, but right now what I've done is, I've done a manual solder job. Uh, I've done a manual solder job here to the speaker, and uh, what I've done is I've soldered the speaker to a little audio jack. So you don't have to do it this way. So right now I've got 
one of the signals I've got what I've what I've done for APR ninety six hundred and any uh, voice chip uh, manipulation. What I did was I took the output from SP one and I soldered it. The inputs are actually on the side here. If you notice down here on the bottom, the one facing uh, the outer side is ground, and the two channels on the right are on the inner right and left. So what I did was I took the output from the APR ninety six hundred and I tied them to the right and left. It's a dual uh, uh, dual input, so you can you can use your iPod if you want and get both channels. What I did was I just soldered um, the I soldered uh, the uh, output from the APR ninety six hundred to the right and left inputs. So now my output is going along this line to my speaker, my little speaker. I actually got a little my ground in the way. So I've got my external power supply, Mr. Sparks, powering my powering my amplifier. There's also an on-off switch. Here's our volume key. So anyway, recap. I uh, SP plus to left and right input on the right hand side underneath. Yeah, from this video you should be able to figure it out. Um, since I'm using my power supply, uh, it's got a common ground, so I've got a uh, ground here and a ground here. But if you're using uh, two different power supplies to power these things, which uh, you should probably, uh, you know, use a lower voltage uh, here and a higher voltage here if you can. But if you are doing that, uh, you have to connect grounds. Make sure that you connect grounds between the two. So I've recorded a couple messages. I've actually just recorded two messages uh, here, and. Uh, I've got my uh, I've got my power here AC power uh, my my positive wire at uh, AC plus uh, ground to my to my power supply on off switch output going to speaker you can actually solder their output uh, solder points uh, left and right right's in here underneath back here to like a manual solder point left's over here so anyway let's give this a go shall we. So first message. Hey, man, it's Patrick, uh, from www.electronicworkings.com. So notice the quality isn't very good. I'm using a two watt speaker. I'll turn it down. Hey, man, it's Patrick, uh, from www.electronicworkings.com. This is the APR ninety six hundred kit. This is the APR ninety six hundred kit. You use a bad uh, a bad speaker, turn it up way too high. Hey, man, it's Patrick, uh, from Say I want to turn my power supply voltage up a little bit. I'm gonna clip, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna blow my speaker, and I, so. Hey, man, it's Patrick, uh, from but it's great. I mean. They're easy. It's really easy to put together. This video should give you an idea of how it works. The uh, APR9600 kit, I believe, is on sale right now in my store. Uh, but normal price is $19.99. Uh, all you need, is actually, the chip comes in it, and you you can take the chip out, put another chip in. I sell the chips on my store as well. If you're looking for a lot of the chips, we're talking uh, over a hundred. You won't believe the deals I can get you if you want to talk to me. Uh, engineeringshock.com. I'm part of engineering www.engineeringshock.com. We do uh, part sourcing, um, uh, circuit engineering. Uh, we sell, we have our, our eBay store, which is the Hobbytronic store, which can be found through www.electroniclessons.com. So anyway, have a look through my YouTube videos. Have a look through our store. We've got lots of great stuff. Uh, if you want, if you don't want to use the audio amplifier, keep in mind that this speaker comes soldered to the APR9600 board. So if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact uh, me through uh, YouTube or contact w uh, engineeringshock.com through engineeringshock at hotmail.com. Message me through eBay. Anything, you know, just, just uh, if you have any questions about any kind of product, any component, if you're looking for anything electronic, give us a shout, see if we can help you. I'm sure we can. For reasonable prices, we're here to help. Thanks again.